Eight out of 10 fire deaths occur in residential homes where we eat, sleep, and live. Here in Ontario, we have approximately 100 fire deaths a year. In Central York, we're trying to do something to change that. We have a residential subdivision fully equipped with home fire sprinklers with the goal of hopefully lowering that statistic. I'm proud to say as the Chief Fire Prevention Officer, home fire sprinklers not only protect you, your family, but also the firefighters that may be responding in the event of an emergency. And home fire sprinklers are a lot more affordable than you may think. Home fire sprinklers work fast. Young children, older adults, or people with disabilities are at the greatest risk. Home fire sprinklers give you the time you need to get out safely. Only extreme heat from a fire will activate a home fire sprinkler. Not burnt toast, not smoking materials. Now, let's find out more from Scott Pugsley, professor and industry coordinator at Seneca College, the School of Fire Protection Technology, on how to do a simple and free flow test on your fire sprinkler system. So the water supply for this sprinkler system comes directly from the town, entering through the flange and across the floor, through a series of other valves, a backflow preventer, and then finally up to the sprinkler system manifold. What we need to ensure is that all the valves are open and ready to work. You can see that the valve at the bottom is open, as well as both of the valves on the sides of the backflow preventer. Now this device just makes sure that the sprinkler water stays in the sprinkler system and the city water is still available for all of our domestic needs. So as water flows up and through this sprinkler system manifold, there's three things happening. We have a pressure gauge that lets us observe whether there's pressure in the system. There's a test device in the back that allows us to do our testing uh, activities, as well as a water flow device. Now this water flow device is a simple paddle in the piping, and when there's water movement, that will send an alarm to our local bell, which will be able to be heard throughout the house. So after water passes through the manifold, it would continue on to be distributed throughout the rest of the house. All levels of the home occupied are protected, basement, first and second, not the attic. We wanna protect where we are gonna be living and sleeping. We're gonna perform our semi-annual flow test. So by opening the handle on the back of this valve, I'll be able to have water flow up through the system and down through this drain pipe. What I wanna make sure is I'm opening it slowly and then listening for this audible test. Should take upwards of 60 seconds, but it might happen instantaneously. Let's try. Thanks so much, Scott. I'm sure all the residents will find that extremely helpful and informative. And in addition, all the homes have been equipped with packages from the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition Canada. Inside there is more information on how you can do your own free flow test. If we want to protect property, reduce injuries, and reduce fire deaths, home fire sprinklers are the answer. For more information on home fire sprinklers, please visit Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition Canada at homefiresprinklercanada.ca, the National Fire Protection Association at nfpa.org, and as always, Central York Fire Services at cyfs.ca. Thank you and stay safe.